What's up guys, Andrew Script coming at you guys today with a brand new video. Today's video is going to be some pickups I got from my local thrift store. Um, I got really lucky, I would say. I got some really neat out of print things. Um, so yeah, um, I got a couple books here, a couple DVDs, um, just some things I found from my local uh, thrift stores around here. So first we'll start off with uh, some Goosebumps. Um, the other day, the Horror Man had posted... A video of some of his favorite Goosebump covers and it kind of inspired me to want to go back and look for some of these old Goosebump books that I used to love reading as a child and uh, I no longer have them I don't know what happened to them in my collection but I've been wanting to go back out and look for them so I'm kind of going to thrift stores looking for some of them um, I found a pretty good amount I'm trying to find more of the original print ones not the newer re-released ones um, so I'm gonna leave his link down below and on my channel to go check out his channel uh, but yeah, these are the three books I found. Um, they're not in the best condition. They're mediocre. One has a rip on it, which sucks. But I got them for like, I think two bucks total for all three of them. Um, so the first one I got is The Haunted Mask 2. Definitely one of my favorite covers too. Um, the original Haunted Mask is the one I'm looking for. That's my all-time favorite cover, I would say. Um, but I, I love this book. I love the TV series and I loved reading these books as a kid. There's the back. Next up, we got Ghost Beach. This. And then the back. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then the next one we have is The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. This is also probably one of my favorite stories. Um, this one used to creep me out um, a lot, and this is definitely one I really enjoyed reading. So yeah, I mean, not not bad for the price I got on those. Um, I'm definitely looking around more, trying to find more of these. Uh, you know, trying to put them back into the collection again. It's been years since I've had these, so I'm gonna start looking for more of those. Um, these are all got from one store. Um, I got them earlier today, and I just kind of walked in looking for books, but I happened to stumble across their DVD section, and a lot of these were kind of weird, obscure titles that I've like rarely ever heard of or never heard of and I just was kind of checking online and seeing um, a lot of these are out of print and I think a lot of these are kind of are valuable I mean I, I paid the I think I paid two for I paid two dollars a piece for all of these so I mean I'm not really looking to go around and make money off them I'm just want to put them in my collection but they're pretty obscure titles um, and it seemed like most of these were out of print and on eBay, kind of selling for ridiculous prices. So, first one I got up is uh, the Su Suicide Club, also known as Suicide Circle. I think I heard about this one a few years back. Someone was telling me about this, that it was pretty good. Um, I've never seen it. So, this is definitely one I'm looking forward to checking out. And then you just got the DVD in there. I don't think this one is out of print specifically. Um, this one didn't seem like it was very expensive to get on eBay, but I've just never seen this one in person And I know this is one I actually was kind of looking for so I grabbed that for two dollars This one I don't think is out of print either. However, it was kind of a weird obscure title um, This is called brain jacked. I've never heard of this, this is from 2010 This one has two signatures on it. I have no idea who the signatures are I'm assuming maybe like the director or one of the actors or something like that I'm gonna kind of do some more research and uh, figure that out but this one seems kind of interesting as well I mean it says it's from the producer of Herschel Gordon Lewis is the uh-oh show so well uh, I'm gonna check it out and see how it is but yeah for two bucks I figured I may as well pick it up I mean if any of you guys know who those signatures are definitely let me know um, I, I don't recognize them at all obviously but I'm curious to see what they are uh, next up I do own the blu-ray of this but I don't have this DVD and I think there's a couple of different releases of this and I believe this specific release is it's from uh, Scimitar I think is how you say it um, I believe this release is out of print of the movie and that's Frank and Hooker classic film I, I love this flick and then it has the little card in there as well yeah like I said I got all of these for two dollars a piece so you know definitely Good prices, I feel like, for a lot of these. This one was definitely one of the ones I saw um, 
that was kind of selling for ridiculous prices on eBay, somewhere ranging like $50 up to like $150, which was kind of crazy. I've heard of this, but I've never seen it. And that is I Spit on Your Corpse, I Piss on Your Grave uh, DVD. And all of these discs are like in pristine condition. They're all perfect, no scratches, nothing. I'm assuming these are probably all from the same person, whoever donated these. Um, because these are kind of weird, obscure titles you wouldn't normally see like in a place like that, I feel like. And that's the DVD there. I believe this is the official release. It doesn't look like it was like printed off on the computer or anything. The disc kind of looks a little funky. Um, it doesn't look like a bird on demand, but I mean, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. But this is definitely one that seemed like it was just selling for ridiculous prices. And I think there's another release of this that's not very expensive, but it seemed like this one with this cover uh, was the one that was selling for a whole lot of money. This was another one that seemed like was a uh, pretty interesting. I've never seen this either. And this was another one that was kind of selling for a high dollar called Freaked. And it has the slip cover on here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely an interesting film. It looks like, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm definitely interested in checking it out and watching it. It sounds like something definitely up my alley. Um, I feel like I should know it, but I've never heard of this, and it's an Anchor Bay release. But yeah, it comes with a slip cover there, um, and then you have this cover, which awesome, looks really cool. All the little characters on there. It's a two-disc DVD set. Both discs are perfect. You got the little card insert too. So I figured for two bucks, I may as well pick it up. Uh, next up, we have something from uh, something weird video. I know of this company, I've seen a few of their releases. This was one that also was kind of weird prices on eBay. I saw like, I think I saw a couple copies that sold from like $20. And then I saw someone trying to sell this for like $150 to $200, which just seems outrageous. I don't know anything about these two flicks. It's a double feature. You got Death Curse of Tartu and then Sting of Death. Um, comes with the DVD and then you get the little card insert. Also in perfect condition. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about this film. Um, it says in the, under the rating, it says warning, this program contains nudity and jellyfish. So <laughs> I'm definitely interested in checking this out and seeing how that is. Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's about it. Like I said, I picked up all six of these films, $2 a piece. So it was $12 out the door. Not bad at all. Um, a lot of these seemed like they're out of print and really hard to find it. There was a couple more movies there I knew that were out of print that I might go back and get later on. They had a couple trauma releases, some synopsis films, um, just some really weird off the wall titles I've never even heard of before uh, that I'm definitely interested in checking out. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. I mean, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. Uh, subscribe to my channel, comment, all that good stuff. If you guys have any information on any of these, let me know. If you know for sure if any of these are out of print or um, if, you know, I got this one, like I said, was kind of, wasn't sure about this disc. It just kind of seemed weird. Um, let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.